Are you ready, team? Today is the day we're gonna cut some fabric. <laughs> so yeah, in case you're wondering why I mysteriously took a day off, the next step in the process of making my 1940s suit is to cut the fabric for the toile, and that requires a lot of time and energy and physical strength, which I just haven't had this past week. Uh, so today is Sunday, and I am finally, quite literally, up to standing up. I've got to get my calico down, and I'm gonna try and race through this so that we get the pattern pieces cut for the first twirl, maybe one of many. However, as always, cutting out is a challenge for a variety of reasons. Firstly, the standing up, but also because my cutting setup is not ideal. I can just about fit round my sewing table all the way around, but I do have to do the old, you know. So I don't like cutting out, and what I usually do is I get my mum to help me. Uh, but she's not here, and I really need to get this done today because we're already behind on this project, so I think I'm just going to have to suffer. <sighs> Oh well. Doesn't help by the fact that I've just come off a different job where I was working on a show and I've still got loads of stuff hanging around from the show, including some laundry, some leftover fabric from the show, which I don't have space for and I don't know what to do with. Probably just gonna have to start by moving stuff around so I can actually work in here. And then I've got to get the calico down, which is up high, so I have to climb up a ladder. Oh God, right. Never have truer words been spoken. Okay, enough whining. Let's do it. Was that funny? I don't know. I'm not, uh, oh, I don't know. Well, I found my good shears. That's the start. So this is all show stuff. Oh, not that. That's mine. So, can't remember in the past. I think I turned the table around. My dad built me this table, by the way, though. So that was nice of him. <sighs> Move me laundry. Like that. Let's hope that's enough. Probably not. I've got a whole bolt more here. Just don't know whether I can be bothered to drag it out. Oh God, I'm already tired and I can't even sit down because I've put a load of shit on that chair. Ugh. Ugh. Where did I put the pattern pieces? Over there. This is the thing about Vlogmas is that you just, now you just have to put up with my incessant verbal diarrhea. Right. Oh my God. Time for a rest. <laughs> See you in about 15 minutes. Okay, we're back. Uh, so if I had to look at my fabric, I've laid it out. I definitely don't have enough here. I do have more calico, so that shouldn't be an issue. It just uh, is a battle I'll have to face later. I'm gonna cut what I have, see what I can get out of this bit, so I know how much I'm gonna cut off the rest of the bolt, because the less fabric I have to deal with in one big chunk, the better. Should I iron my fabric? Probably. Am I going to? No, no, I'm not. It's just not gonna happen. The other thing I noticed as I was um, sat here resting was I thought this was going to be a two-piece suit. Turns out it's just a dress. I don't know why. They call it the blouse though. So I was expecting a separate blouse and skirt, but no, it's, it's joined together at the waist. So it's just a dress. Typical, typical. I'm procrastinating, can you tell? In case you hadn't clocked this, today is not a relaxing vlog. It's a chaotic one. I've also changed the frame rate on my camera, so if it looks a bit different, that's why. Which I hope is going to help me in the editing process, basically. So, I've got all this here, which I can't use, which is a great start. But I need my back on the fold, which will fit there quite nicely. And just cut two of my front, which will fit there. And we'll have a weird bit left here, which I probably won't be able to use for anything. Grand! All right, let's just do it. How worried am I going to be about my straight of grain on this calico, which is massively off grain anyway? The answer's really not very, it turns out. <laughs> That'll do. In case you're wondering why we've suddenly gone from this like, oh, calm, relaxing, cozy holiday season atmosphere to, I don't know, chaotic, hyperactive, explosions basically cutting out is really difficult it's very tiring it's very time consuming very painful for me so i basically just have to psych myself up to do it and uh hope for the best and the thing of course about making a toile is that you have to do the whole thing twice Where is, i didn't mark a straight of grain on this oh this they were going for this line okay what am i doing why why am i down a pattern weight i've only got five 
How? Oh my god. What? Oh, is it on here? I was using it to weigh down my tissue pieces. Is this relatable sewing content? Let's hope so. Really? That looks majorly on the wonk, but oh well. So let's just cut it and hope. So when I cut a pattern of my own, I always add two and a half centimeters of seam allowance, an inch, everybody's happy. And that just means that I can accommodate more extreme modifications. I very rarely use an entire inch, you know, to like let something out two inches across a seam is pretty extreme, particularly because I do all that measuring and patterning adjustment myself beforehand. When I use a commercial pattern, I tend to just cut my toile with the seam allowance it already comes with, because I know, first of all, I've compared it to my measurements, so I know I'm not going to be vastly out. And uh, second of all, pretty good at making alterations on the fly. You've seen me make many a thing in the actual fabric and not make a toile and then alter the bejesus out of it. Yeah, I've kind of become accustomed to working in final fabric. So I think a centimeter and a half seam allowance. Oh, this isn't though. This is half an inch. Oh, maybe I want more seam allowance. Screw it. I've pinned it on now. Let's just go for it. <laughs> Let's go. Time for the cinematic cutting out montage. Time for a rest. So we got two pattern pieces cut out of five and I've been sat here resting for another 15 minutes and I've gone, mm, I don't think it's gonna happen. Not in the next hour anyway. I'm gonna have a break. I'm gonna eat some lunch. Maybe that'll give me a bit of a second wind and let's hope I can get to the skirt pieces as well. If I can't do that today, what I might do instead is start marking up the bodice pieces because that's something I can do sitting down yay oh god i really this is the thing part of me is like mate just power through and get it done and then suffer tomorrow i hate having this hanging over me once it's done it's done but um can't grow new knees so we've got to take care of them oh, i'm gonna make a sandwich <laughs> okay welcome back cup of tea <sighs> let's do this this pattern piece now that i look at it laid out like this is a really weird shape <laughs> do i trust my past self Probably not. This is what I was talking about. So I've only really got scrappy bits left here. I don't think I can get anything out of this, but it can go in the scrap bag but I've got quite a chunk here which I think I may be able to get a skirt panel out of or maybe a sleeve not a skirt panel <sighs> that is bloody typical okay well I'm gonna have to cut quite a bit of calico off my bolt then oh god let's have a look that is probably longer than the skirt so I probably need about 70 centimeters that's annoying uh, I've just this re second realised this that I've been using was washed calico and obviously the stuff on the bolt is unwashed. I mean it'll probably be fine. What did I say I wanted 70 centimetres worth? I mean it should be fine if one panel's slightly drapier on the skirt, the front's drapier than the back. I'm sure we'll survive. This calico is so off brain, I better make it a bit more generous. <sighs> okay, so let's hope I did this right. I don't think they're gonna fit side by side on straight of brain. <laughs> Well, that 
Was I just being an ass? Oh my god, I think they're gonna fit. <gasps> just, just. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. Oh my god. Oh, oh, quick. Can you see how close this is? 